Good afternoon and happy Earth Day. Today is Wednesday, it's Community Health Update, and I'm delighted to be here with you on this absolutely gorgeous spring day. And I'm delighted to bring you, speaking of gorgeous and thinking of beauty and color, our, we have a very special guest today from the Art Connection, a wonderful, wonderful organization that I've had the privilege of connecting with um, probably since the early, um, maybe 2000, 2000 2001. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to tell you all about the wonderful work that the Art Connection does and that they connect, literally connect, artists and, and fine art, beautiful art, with deserving homes. We'll just put it that way. And our guest today is the Art Connection's program coordinator. And welcome to Sh Sarah Schalbetter. Welcome to our Thank show, you. Sarah. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. I'm delighted to talk about the Art Connection. We, um, we've actually done, I think this is the third show that we've done over the years in the Art Connection, but it's been several years since we had someone from the Art Connection on. And we are in the process at the Shattuck Hospital of um, obtaining 17 pieces of donated fine art that we will happily display <laughs> in the public health hospital that's not known for its fabulous co collection of beautiful artwork. So I wanted to bring you to our audience today to tell you how the Art Connection works, what's it all about, what does it, I can talk about what it means to me in the agency, but you have, you're the program coordinator and you deal with many, many people um, like the Shattuck Hospital, um, what an impact it has on uh, when art is placed in environments like ours. So, how long have you been with the Art Connection, Sarah? I have been with the Art Connection since 2001. Okay. All right, and you're an artist yourself. I am. Yes, and is that why you wanted to sort of work in, in an um, in association with the Art Connection? Yeah, I was previously working for the Brain Tumor Society, ah. um, another nonprofit, yes. and I wanted to utilize my skills in an arts related organization. Yes, and the Art Connection has been around for how many years now? 14. Uh -huh. Started yeah. in 1995. Yes, and it was really sort of a, an outgrowth. If I remember my history now, it was an outgrowth. Was it Faye Chandler? Yep. Who was the the uh, the Maven the, uh, the 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 Doyen? I'm trying to think of all those wonderful words. <laughs> uh, she was really the the, the beginning um, of. Uh, she had lots and lots of work that she wanted to donate, and she just said, "Let me start this up." And here we are, all these years later. Yeah, she had a, a show at the Boston Center for the Arts, and uh, lots of pieces and. And uh, instead of bringing those that maybe didn't get sold or mm -hmm. um, given away, she wanted those to go out into the world and, um, and uh, founded the Art Connection. And boy, all those years later, I mean, just, just where you're uh, located in the Boston Center for the Arts uh, on Tremont Street, I mean, how things have changed so dramatically. Uh, but you're still in that space. You're still yep. in your original space. Um, the BCA that we knew and loved back in back in the day has been replaced by the pavilions and the theaters and and um, all of the the performing arts. But it's still a center for arts. Mm -hmm. But you have a very large space where a lot of the art actually is stored for folks. Yeah, we uh, we moved a floor down mm -hmm. uh, last year and uh, now have quite a bit of room for storing artwork and. Um, can utilize that for a lot of different things, um, for even artists out of town who mm -hmm. want to send work to us or mm -hmm. uh, for collectors. Um, and uh, if an artist is going out of town mm -hmm. but still wants that artwork to be picked up by agency, they'll drop it off at our office. Very convenient, which yeah. makes it much more convenient if you're not running. I mean, it's great to run all over town and to, and to talk to the artist and to meet the, the artist, which I have done uh, a few times. But sometimes you're really on a, you know, these days staffing is at a premium. And if you don't have people that you can just sort of say, okay, you know, come back in a week, it's great to have one or two key locations. Mm -hmm. But let's tell, let's tell our audience about um, how the match is made and how and why the art connection is so important and what it does for the community. Well, um, so there's, there's sort of two pieces. There's the, mm -hmm. the agencies who are requesting um, uh, a 
the art and they go through an extensive process of applying mm -hmm. and uh, and then supporting materials included mm -hmm. and we review that um, things like 501c3 or public mm -hmm. equivalent um, and uh, board of directors um, we have an agreement uh, mm -hmm. so once that's completed uh, we then follow up uh, and we do what's called a site visit uh, our program manager, Tova Speeder, goes out yeah. um, to the site, um, kind of explains a bit more how the process will work, and uh, looks around the agency and uh, you know, starts forming where the, the work would go or how many pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and after that step, once that's approved, we then set up what's called a placement visit. And uh, that's a couple hours where a group of staff, clients from the agency come together and uh, look at around 300 artworks, which you've partaked we've, in. We've done, <laughs> we've done it a couple of times, and it's, um, it's really interesting when you start with such a large body of work, and then as you narrow it down and narrow it down, and um, you know, the, the uh, expertise that we have in someone like Tova to help advise us. Um, some of the folks on these committees, and I've served on three committees to date, are um, collectors or understand art, know art, buy art. And some people like it but have never been involved in the, in the process. So um, the, under the gentle guidance, I would say, of Tova, it really, um, she really helps us make decisions that are right for the site. So I, because I've done it for three different sites now as well. And she's very, you know, she'll let us know, you know, like, okay, it's like, it's all the same folks. And, you know, the reason that you display um, art, one of the reasons that you display art is to get people to think and talk about mm -hmm. it and to open a window in the world that they ordinarily wouldn't see. So if everything looks the same, you know, you're sort of defeating the purpose. So we really appreciate that extra effort that we get from Toba. Yeah, and we do, we have quite a range of medium. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's photography, it's uh, works on paper, it's oils, mm -hmm. it's sculpture. Um, so it, it's great when the final decision uh, from those 300 artworks has a, a range of, uh, of uh, medium type or even content. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But we do let you know, the agency uh, decide and um, so they're the juries of right. what's going to go up. Right. And, and well, exactly up what we like. We do have gentle guidance, but we do, but we decide what we want, and and it's um, and again, it's a group decision. So anytime you have a group of people making a decision, <laughs> they're a little you know you have to use diplomacy and tact, but the group comes to consensus. Um, I think it's important to mention here that the the donee organizations, which would be the Shattuck Hospital in this case, um, are we own. The art, it's actually the artist donates it to us, and there's a deed, there's a legal agreement and a deed, and we actually own it, and the art is in our care. So uh, we take great pains to make sure that the artwork is in a place and, and framed and mounted appropriately so that it's, it's not damaged or defaced because it's a valuable piece of inventory. Mm -hmm. And of course, there is a dollar figure attached to all of these pieces, although we don't attach that dollar figure to it. Um, but it, it, it's for the artist. Let's talk a little bit about that piece. So we know what's in it for the donee or the donor, um, the recipient organization. What's in it for the art donor? Why do they donate art? Um, there's a couple of reasons. One, they, they have a large inventory and mm -hmm. uh, they want it to be out in the world, um, which was sort of Faye's original concept. Mm -hmm. um, that sometimes it's going to promote uh, them as an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, we do provide plaques uh, for all the artwork, so those are put up next to the works, um, noting um, the artwork information and the, the artist or collector name. Um, they are wanting to donate because it, it feels good. Um, it you know, feels it's a good great cause. for us for someone to donate wonderful artwork. I have to tell you, it's just so exciting. And we have a reception. There'll be a reception. Great. Uh, what that will sponsor and happily invite um, friends of the hospital and certainly patients, staff, any all the stakeholders in the hospital as well as the artists themselves who'd like to who would like to join us for that day 
to sort of dedicate the concept of, of the donations. Yeah, that's a, a really wonderful way to sort of end the process. And then you, you get to invite everyone that was involved and the artist or collector uh, can then see where the work is and, you know, have it in their, um, they'll, they'll know where it's sitting or uh, where the home is. Um, yes, yes. So that's, uh, and, it, and it's just a nice way to thank them and um, get people together to sort of, uh, congratulate everyone who was involved. And there is an emotional, because I've done this a few times now, and we've dealt with um, a few artists who have repeatedly donated to organizations like ours. There is an emotional attachment. Many of the folks who donate the work have an emotional attachment to the kind of organization that um, receives some of the art. Uh, we were talking about Judith Lieberman before the show, and I think that she, I know that she has a, uh, she's, she's donated a lot of work to Tewksbury Hospital, and she also donated some work to the mental health unit at the Shattuck Hospital mm -hmm. a few years ago. And I went to her house, I had the great pleasure of meeting um, her and picking up the art myself, and she was very specific that she wanted folks who had um, psychiatric issues to be in the presence of her, of her art. She thought it, it spoke to them in a way that they would really appreciate it. So um, that made me feel even more special and that she was just m happier, mm -hmm. you know, in a way to find a home with, with DMH than she was perhaps with some other placements. So, you know, I'd like to take a look at the art, actually. We do have um, some images now, and this is, um, this is a preview, and I want to tell our audience that the folks at the... Our, our colleagues at the Shattuck, except for a very few of us, had not had, have not had an opportunity to take a look at this. So um, these are the images, and we'll just talk over those now. Um, and of course, I don't have my artist right in front of me, but um, you can see that you know we really have a wide, um, a, a, a variety of art displayed um, and several different medium. Several of these pieces. We actually have a conference room that we that we themed the uh, sand and sand, sea, and sky conference room. And there's several pieces here that make you think of that. So oh, that'll nice. be in the smaller conference room. And uh, this piece that we're looking at right now, the bird, will be that will be placed in the lobby. And the lobby of the Shattuck Hospital faces uh, Franklin Park. And there is a tremendous amount of wildlife in the park and a tremendous um, bird population um, all over the area. So at, at right outside my office window, I see birds mm. all summer long. I'm thinking of getting an Audubon book, you know, just to <laughs> check out what kinds of birds we see. So it's sort of bringing the outdoors in and the indoors out here. And this is a beautiful scene that reminds me of a, a marsh and, and just ocean and expansive sky. Um, that piece will be placed in our large conference room. We have two very large, lovely pieces that will be in the conference room. Here's another uh, wonderful piece that actually reminds me of uh, a little village that we visit in Gloucester, Anasquam, Massachusetts. Mm. So um, just great, great work, really great work here. And, of course, you can't see the scale of some of the work, but some of these pieces are quite large. Right. And some of them are a little smaller and, and will be done in groupings. So this is an example of uh, the beauty and the um, um, just sort of uh, creative process that can be brought into um, you know a public, an older um, public facility that just never would have any kind of a budget for, um, you know, we can paint our walls and every once in a while, every couple of years, we may be able to get some new chairs for the conference room, but I mean, typically we're not, we're not a corporate environment that hires interior designers and has a wonderful collection of art in the lobby, so we're, you know, something like this for us is, is really major. It's a major coup. So we're, we're just thrilled to have it. Great. And the art connection. And I'm going to remind folks again today that today is the 22nd of April. It's Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to everybody. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day in Boston. We're repeated 
for folks who are just catching probably this half of the show, second half of the show, or the tail end of the show if you watch it later, we're on Friday evenings at 10.30 on Friday evening, and we're on Sunday mornings at 10.30. So um, we're on three times a week, and we have a dedicated group of folks who watch the show, and we, we really appreciate the sponsorship and the support of the Shattuck Hospital. So tell us about some of your donors, some of your longtime donors. Are they names that um, folks would recognize from the Boston community in addition to someone like Faye Chandler? Yeah, I think so. Um, some of those longtime donors are friends of Faye's. Mm -hmm. um, Suzanne Hodis, mm -hmm. um, a painter. Um, you had a piece, uh, Ann Silber. Yes. Kind of silk screen. Yes. Um, she's donated uh, a huge amount. Uh, Maria Termini. Yes, Maria. Uh, I used to study dance with Maria Termini <laughs> many years ago. It's a small world. In a studio in the south end of Meadow. She's a lovely woman. Lovely woman. Um, and uh, who else? Uh, you had some David Cooperman paintings. Mm -hmm. um, he's been in Boston for uh, a couple of years, and now he's just moved to Iowa. Um, and let me think. Um, Martha Jane Bradford. Yes. yes. Um, Prilla Smith Brackett. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we're working, we've worked with around 270 Mm, wow, um, and some of those are are active uh, right now because we still have work in our portfolio to show that's mm -hmm. available for donation, and then mm -hmm. some others have uh, are now inactive, mm -hmm. um, and we try to reach out to those artists um, to remind them uh, that we currently don't have any works to show. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, around 270 That's artists. a lot, that's a pretty big inventory. And we were the happy recipients of a few frames as well. So every once in a while folks will donate um, lovely frames, high quality frames that, you know, we, we're certainly using those frames. We'll take them um, to the framer and we'll, we'll have, you know, we'll have our, our work mounted and, and uh, glassed, but we are very happy to receive the donation of frames as well. Yeah, once in a while we'll get a call um, and uh, we try to, to follow up and um, and that's part of the the new space is uh, mm -hmm. storage for frames, and then hopefully uh, the, a match will be made uh, with the size of those and the work that we have on site that's been selected. It's, it's just it's just such a simple but a profound concept. I mean, I just can't tell you how how much I love working with the Art Connection. It's really it's it's literally elevating, you know, mentally elevating. Um, Let's talk a little bit about the um, how people can get in touch with you. I, and I can't remember, frankly, how we we found out about the Art Connection originally several years ago. But how do folks? Do you promote yourselves, and how do folks reach you for our donations? We right now we still do a lot of word of mouth, mm -hmm. um, agency to agency. Um, it's it's still kind of grassroots um, reaching out and. Uh, so we, we try to sometimes do umbrella organizations, mm -hmm. um, or uh, we have a, a newsletter that goes out, um, you know, get that out into some new hands. Um, and then as far as the artists, again, uh, word of mouth, um, artist to artist. Um, we do outreach to open studios in the Boston area. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a website. Um, okay, why don't we tell, tell our audience what the website <laughs> it's is? It's uh, theartconnection, all one word, dot org. Um, and we can also be emailed at info at theartconnection.org. Dot org, great. And you're there. You're always there, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're there, you're available, you're accessible, you answer your email quickly, um, answer the phone. And so if our audience, anyone in our audience, if you're, again, let's talk about the kind of um, uh, recipient, um, either a, a public agency, um, a nonprofit, mm -hmm. um, an organization, much like, actually, much like our uh, group here at Boston Neighborhood Network, pretty, uh, folks who produce shows on uh, Channel 9 are organizations like that, organizations with a, with a mission. Um, Community-based organizations, um, typically not a, a you know not non-corporate, public sector kinds of organizations. So, if you're an organization 
out there and you have um, a resource stream that's drying up like all of our resource streams are now and you have a, a mission to serve you have a mission to serve um, the homeless the elderly children um, uh, any kind of um, uh, uh, patient focused kind of organization, any kind of community-based organization, and you would like to qualify, you'd like to find out about qualifying for donated wonderful, wonderful art, contact the Art Connection. And the phone number again is? 617-338-7668. Uh, and the website is? Theartconnection.org. Dot .org. Great. Yeah. Very good. And I'd like to say... Hello and thank you to our <laughs> friends Jim McDonald and Tova Speeder, who we've had the wonderful opportunity of working with in the past. Um, and so many of the artists that we've had an opportunity of working with. And, and my, my fantasy is that after our third year, because we can apply, that's another thing I'd like to get out. If, if an organization does qualify, you can reapply um, for a total of, of three years. Three times. Three times, yeah. I'm sorry. And however long that's going to take, folks. So you can really put together a sizable collection mm -hmm. of work as well. Yeah, um, if, you're, if you have the, the space. The space, um, yeah. We do. We do at the Shattuck Hospital. Now, what about folks who are collectors? We've talked a lot about artists. What about folks who are collectors? Um, I mean, I, it's hard to imagine people that have art that they don't want or can't hang, but you know, people who collect sometimes divest themselves of their work. So. Can they give to the Art con Connection as well? Yep. Um, in fact, I just had a visit yesterday with uh, new collectors who are moving. Um, they're downsizing uh, to a much smaller space, and mm -hmm. they, they just don't have the room. They still, you know, they, they like the pieces, mm -hmm. um, but they don't have the room. Um, and they've known about the Art Connection for uh, a long time. They're, they're friends of Faye's, um, and so this is a great way for them to participate uh, with us, and um, we're, that's a the collector program is sort of a small mm -hmm. um, project that we're trying to work on um, because we do accept work from artists and mm -hmm. collectors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and you've mentioned all the medium. I mean, what about um, thinking of um, ceramics or um, fiber art? You know, different. Um, uh, tactile kinds of, of, of art. I mean, you're open to all of it. Yeah, yeah, we are. And we've worked with some great fiber artists, Clara Wainwright. Oh, she's um, wonderful. She's yeah. donated quilts uh, yeah. through us, and we've and even some other quilt artists. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, ceramic, again, I think Judith Lieberman, mm -hmm. um, some of her early donations were ceramic sculptures. Those are uh, a little more difficult to place because of security issues yes. and they're not a 2D work um, so they need to find a, a place that's going to be a good fit. Right, the appropriate um, display or appropriate safe display area or create some sort of a safe display mm -hmm. space for them. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, yeah. So it's just, you know, the sky's the limit mm -hmm. when we talk <laughs> about this. Well, thank you again for joining us today. This, this was my pleasure to uh, be involved again in this process. And, I, and just before we, want, we close the show, uh, I, I was talking to Sarah about, uh, I read, a, um, I read a, uh, something from the internet about the Cleveland Clinic is opening a, a, um, a, a heart center. Um, and they have commissioned art um, for this center in Cleveland. And they're doing the same sort of thing, but with obvious resources and an endowment that we're doing at the Shattuck Hospital. And they've been able to place a piece of art in every, or the intent is to place a piece of art in every patient room. Mm. So, <laughs> we're on the move. We're not quite there yet, but I think that perhaps uh, some way or down the road, we may be, you know, we may have evolved to having the art really brought into the patient's place in a really um, accessible way. So uh, thank you again, Sarah. It's been a pleasure you. interviewing you. And thank you so much to the Art Connection. I just, I just can't say enough about your, your organization and how, how great you folks are to work with. Thank you. And I'll see you at the celebration. Great. When the art is hung. <laughs> and thank you for watching Community Health Update. We ha we're just delighted to do this for you every week. 
and thank you for your support and for your 15 years of dedicated viewing. So thanks again, and we'll see you next Wednesday on Community Health Update. Have a tremendous week.